Caribbean Connections TV. Hi, Sindrickson for Caribbean Connections here, standing with the Honorable Minister Montoot of St. Lucia. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to Toronto. Tell us a bit about um, St. Lucia for some of us who's never been there. What are the wonderful highlights of St. Lucia? Well, in terms of uh, geography, St. Lucia is a mountainous island with lots of lovely peaks and nice vegetation, beautiful ocean, I mean, lovely people, very warm, hospitable people. It's an island that you will enjoy, you'll be enchanted if you come to St. Lucia. Yeah. Our people are predominantly uh, Afri uh, of the African descent. We have quite a number of uh, people of Indian descent and a number of Europeans living on the island. We are very warm, hospitable, uh, very friendly people. Tourism is one of our main industries in St. Lucia. And uh, in, in terms of our other sources of, of revenue, uh, banana production is the next in line. But uh, we depend very heavily on tourism and of course we depend on tourists from North America, including Canada. And so we want to invite the Canadians to come to St. Lucia. We know that we're going through a recession, but St. Lucia is one of the places that will be well worth. And at this time, you want to ensure that every dollar you spend is well invested. If you come to St. Lucia, you have no regrets. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm excited. I've never been to St. Lucia. Your sal I will, now that I've spoken to you. You're celebrating your 30th anniversary independence. That's correct. What has the journey been like for St. Lucians? Well, it has been a tough one. I think in the 30 years of our independence, we have had much to celebrate, many achievements. Of course, there are some challenges as well. But uh, in that time, we have had, we have had the, dis the distinction of, of recognizing two Nobel laureates. We have had much development in terms of infrastructural development. Educationally, we have achieved quite a few milestones. We now, apart from primary, universal primary school education, we have universal secondary school education, which is a great achievement for us. And you know, we are working in terms of building our country to position St. Lucia to take its place and to be able to compete in the global uh, setting that exists today. What was it like for you growing up as a St. Lucian? Well, I mean, we didn't have all the, the, the privileges and the benefits of some of the technology that exists today. But I must say, I mean, I look back, uh, nostalgic. It, it was a, a very good life. I mean, very more natural. And uh, in terms of the values and so on, uh, it, I, I would dare say it was a, a greater hardcore, better instilled values in us than I see today in the younger people. Yeah. I'm here to Honourable Stephen, Council General. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Thanks for having me. What are the main dishes like? French influence, Caribbean influence? I would say there's a French, there's an African, there's even the Amerindian influence. Because one of the first peoples in the Caribbean were the Arawaks and the Caribs. And uh, they have left their mark in uh, the culinary skills and the culinary landscapers in Lucia. So, uh, even today you'll find that most of our chefs have very unique dishes and um, the warmth of the people translates itself. The, the very fact that we're the number one wedding destination in the world um, speaks volumes. So people keep returning. The fact that uh, Sandals, the Sandals brand, has I think uh, probably only second to Jamaica in terms of capital investment. We actually have three properties signature sandals properties here and I think they're opening a beaches property it's somewhere in the works so it's a testimony to not only the um, stability of our government but the fact that our people are attuned to the needs of our visitors the portal in Russia is no longer an unknown I could safely say that wonderful wonderful I'm so excited I'd love to visit I'd like to help you <laughs> you'll be my tour guide oh, definitely <laughs> The maze in her black. How are you and welcome to Toronto? I'm fine, thank you. And it's nice being here for my very first time, you know, and I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Just can't wait to get on the stage. Yeah, uh, that's why I know it's your first time. So what do you like about Toronto so far? Have you gotten a chance to see some of the sites yet? Well, I've been around because we, we, we entered on, on Thursday. That was um, Thursday um, evening. You know, and so far, I like what I'm seeing, you know. And especially, I must comment on tonight because I, I walked in the hall and I see the place is jumped packed, you know, and that's what that inspired me very much to do a good show. And I hope we're going to have a good night tonight. Do you find it cold? Well, very much, very much so, because I'm not used to the cold at all. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what can we expect from you tonight? What we can expect everything because I'm a conscious lyrics singer 
and I have a very popular hit from last year called Suzette and I know the people are very much looking forward to that. So it will be from starting conscious and ending up with energy. Wonderful. Yeah. Are you up to your performance tonight? Yeah, they're very much so. Very much so. We're looking forward to everybody doing the, the Suzette dance tonight. The Suzette dance? Yeah. What is that? Well, it, 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 I was actually asked you to demonstrate it for me. Is that possible? Well, definitely. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> is it hard? <laughs> it's, it's not hard, you okay, know, because it's, it's not hard because it's not anything orthodox. You know, it's, it's like a, a dance I developed, you know, through trying to explain what I, what I, what I was trying to portray in the okay. song, you know. Okay. And it goes like, well, okay. Suzette whine and she whine. Okay. She, she shake. You know, and she do the back back. So basically, that's what we're going to be looking out for tonight. Oh, okay. A little bit of the Suzette dance. So at least I'll know what to do uh, when I when when he's performing. I'll know how to do it. So I won't be well, like. Let me, let me let me demonstrate a little bit. Let me okay. demonstrate a little okay. bit for you. Okay. Okay. So at least you could get the idea. You know. And she whine, she whine, oh. she whine, she whine, she whine, she whine. She say play them no mind. She look up on the eye in the middle of the eye. And she shake, and she shake like it's me. She won't break, and she back, back. That's basically what I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes, I'll be doing that tonight, for That's sure. That's what you'll be doing tonight. I will, no, well, now I know how to do it. I can do it, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. It's easy, you know, it's yeah. easy. Very easy. You just have to listen to the instructions and follow. And hopefully everybody's back and back the right way, you know? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Wonderful. It's been a pleasure talking to you. You're welcome. You're welcome, my lady. Well, with the unstoppable Papa Veda, how are you? I'm not too bad, and how are you? I'm wonderful. So excited. I can't wait to see your performance. I, I love your songs. Okay, thank you very much. Um, you have a lot of um, achievements under your belt. A lot of crowns, a lot of awards. Well, I've, I've won the Calypso Monarch in St. Lucia three times. I've won the Party Monarch twice. I've won the Road March seven times. I've won the Extempo Monarch twice. I am the reigning by local king. Um, I got the St. Lucia Medal of Merit Gold uh, for my contribution towards the development of the arts in St. Lucia. So, just to name a few. Also got um, the International Soka Award for Merit my contribution towards the development of Soka uh, internationally. That is amazing and impressive. What is your secret to your success? Uh, a lot of hard work, uh, sacrifice and um, endurance. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, this year will be 27 years since I've been involved in the business. That's a long time. A long time. Oh, it, it's more than half of my life. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> motors because um, the turnout tonight is fantastic. I've been to Toronto a few times and uh, this is the first time that I've actually seen such a huge turnout for the St. Lucian community. So I'm excited about that. I'm sorry that I, I'm not going to be performing more songs though, but uh, this, the few that I'm going to be performing, I intend to mash up the place. <laughs> yeah. What does it mean to you to be St. Lucian? What does that mean to you? Uh, well... I'm very, very proud to be a St. Lucian because uh, St. Lucia in my mind is one of the more unique islands in the Caribbean in that we have been able to achieve so much. We have two of almost everything. We, we have two pitons, which are our national landmarks. Uh, we have two kings here tonight in myself and her black out of the island. We have two Nobel, Nobel laureates in Derek Walcott and, and Arthur Lewis, you know, so in my mind, St. Lucia is a, a very fascinating place. Apart from that, I believe St. Lucia is one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean with regards to the layout and the beaches and the people, yes. you know, so I'm proud to be a Lucian. <laughs>